Today, we'll be creating a sheet index that automatically shows all of your pages and we'll have it set up so that you can pull pages out. So let's get started. First off, you'll wanna make sure that you have a subset. So you wanna right click on your drawings name and go create new subset. From here, we'll go new drawings for video and we'll go create. From here, let's grab all of our drawings from this set and drag them into this new drawing set. If we click on this one and we go update, we're going to notice that all the drawings disappear. This is very handy so that if we've got all of our drawings set up and we just want the relevant drawings for this particular drawing set to be shown in this index, we can drag the drawings into different subsets and have them show up on different schedules. Why this is important, I'll get to in a second. So let's just update this again. And now we've just got those three showing. So if you're kicking off with the concept and you only need say site plan, floor plan, and maybe a 3D view, but you've already got all of your different drawings set up from previous project files this is how we can have it set up so that it only shows these drawings now let's right click and open the source view so that we can actually see what we've set up so that it shows just these drawings let's go into index settings and within here this is the one that we've got set up here so all we need to do is go add criteria and we'll type in subset we'll go double click and from here i'll delete the original from here i'll just click on the value and then i can click which subset it's going to draw from so for this one da drawing set and after that it's just a matter of adding in what information we want to show in the actual schedule so for this one it's layout id which if we just go add field and go layout and then we scroll on down yep this one's grayed out because we already have it selected so if i was to say select it remove it and then go add field and we type in layout id and I double click layout id then it'll come up here now so i'll rearrange these i have layout id first so that it automatically arranges my drawings by the number in numerical order so if i swap these around and i went okay then it's going to label it alphabetically so if we go back to index just swap that one back up and we go okay there we go now we can always add in more information if we go to add fields and type in say something like date, we can double click and go transmittal date and then go okay. And then from there, it'll show the date that these drawings were published. But for the sake of this tutorial, we won't go into depth with the transmittal date because it's a bit of a rabbit hole. So let's go ahead and go remove. If you just wanna explore the different fields, we can hit this little toggle here and go through and find all the different settings as well as custom text that we can set up so we can automate as much of our titles as possible. So let's click on out, we'll go okay, go back to our title page, and there we go. If you want to update the title block so that it fits to what the title is here, we can double click on this little node just here and it zips back so it fits to the text. Same for the horizontal points here and we can have it fit up. Now, if we want to increase the size, we can either do it manually here or we can do it overall, say with row heights, if we go to say like eight, so we can increase it that way as well. Now to access this ArchiCAD file or any of my other tutorial files, they're all available over on my Patreon page, which I'll have a link to down in the description. If you like this video, I think you'll wanna check out this one just over here.